Dave Champlin again, a biology professor at the University of Southern Maine, and in this short follow-up video, we're going to talk more about cell differentiation and learn some more important concepts. In this video, we're going to work with three cells. We have our familiar muscle cell and our muscle cell precursor, the myoblast cell. In an early embryo, there are no muscles, and then myoblast cells form. The myoblast cells uh, go through the cell cycle, they divide by mitosis to increase the population, and then these undifferentiated cells go through a process of differentiation, which includes a variety of different things, including, as we learned earlier, new gene expression to produce differentiated muscle cells. It was mentioned before, but not emphasized, and it's emphasized in this video that, in general, differentiated cells undergo a permanent cell cycle arrest. The muscle cells are no exception. Muscle cells uh, undergo a permanent cell cycle arrest and in the G0 phase of the cell cycle and are not gonna go through mitosis ever again. That's significant because after birth, you know, our muscles still grow. After birth, our muscles must grow more as we grow. You know that muscles can grow in response to exercise and then muscles can also heal from injury or disease. How can that happen given that the differentiated muscles have permanently arrested in the cell cycle and are not going to go through mitosis again? The answer is to look inside our arm at a muscle, and this is a muscle fiber, and the pink are the muscle cells that are differentiated and have the contractile proteins that can contract and move our body. Lining the muscle fibers in our body muscles are cells called satellite cells. And that's what our third cell is here. A satellite cell is paused in the cell cycle and then in response to stimulation, typically muscle strain, the satellite cell can proliferate, go through the cell cycle, divide by mitosis, and produce uh, new myoblasts that can then go through differentiation. So satellite cells and myoblast cells are both undifferentiated. Satellite cells are an example of adult stem cells. We have a variety of different types of adult stem cells in our bodies. Although they're called adult stem cells, satellite cells are found in babies, kids, teens, and adults. The muscle can grow even though differentiated muscle cells stop. The mechanism is to have cells in reserve that are just paused in the cell cycle and can be stimulated to proliferate and uh, produce more bioblasts. Muscles are an example of tissue in our body that can grow and regenerate, recover well. Uh, those, those include bone, muscle, liver, skin, and several other examples. On the other hand, we have tissues in our body that don't grow and regenerate well. Those include kidney, heart, brain, spine, lungs. For example, if a person is injured in an accident and paralyzed, it's very difficult to recover from that paralysis. In general, these tissues have cells that are differentiated. Some tissues include a variety of different types of mechanisms that allow the tissue to grow and recover. And it's very significant in medicine to understand those mechanisms. One of the important concepts here is that all three of these cell types feature genomic equivalents. They have all the DNA needed to make muscles or any other cell in the body. And what's going on here is that we just have a longer cascade of dominoes falling in this story now. Because now what we have is that in response to stimulus, often muscle strain, and if you think about it, that makes sense. As our bodies grow, our muscles are strained to move our bigger bodies. Um, when we exercise, muscle strain can increase muscle mass. And when we're injured, you can imagine that the injured muscle tissue is strained to get the work done. Uh, and that stimulates these satellite cells to proliferate through the cell cycle and mitosis, and then to change and become, through a series of changing gene expression, myoblast cells that can undergo further proliferation and then go through the familiar differentiation of expression of genes like myoD and myogenin 
and then additional muscle-specific genes to form differentiated muscle.